Okay, do you remember at the Oscars, hello everyone, at the Oscars there was a short film called Skin that I was telling you all about, which was a neo-Nazi guy yes. who oh my God, uh, it sounds so good. Yeah, beat up a black guy and then the... the don't the, give him a spoiler. The revenge no. was... No, don't tell them. Curiously, and this is really curious, the same director had also already made a feature film called Skin. Oh. Starring completely different actors. <laughs> Yeah, not the same story. Good God. Uh, but interesting, but get this. this is what was really fascinating when I dug into the cast of this a bit is the lead actor who plays, I believe, the lead bald, tattooed neo-Nazi is only Jamie Bell. Oh! The boy from... Um, from... Um, Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot. <laughs> yeah, Billy Elliot. It's the boy from Billy Elliot, Jamie, Jamie oh. Bell, who's obviously a lot older now. But uh, this is... This, this is a... Looks like a, a fascinating portrait of an, a, a neo-nazi monster but p potentially with a bit of sort of bit of guilt and a bit of whatever let's see guys like this only have three options die young life in prison or they start talking no 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 american soil you like them leave it's our last gig why I don't want my kids to be around us. Hey, Bones! What you looking at? You. We don't tolerate stupidity. Got that? Yes, sir! Do you have one that you regret? Some. Why, you got one you regret? What was your first one? Fred gave it to me. He took me in. I owe him. I think real family don't make you owe shit. So you a family man now. Listen, talk to me, man. You know the Vikings ain't gonna like it. You're better than those racists. I don't know what to do. In this business, you gotta stay focused. Or fall right down the rabbit hole. What if I take all this stuff off and I'm still a piece of shit? Wow. You have an outright. I can help you. You don't answer your phone. You don't show up in meetings anymore. Oh. I don't even know if you remember. I don't know what they're gonna do. You need to get the kids and get out of here. It's time for you to come back home. I'm not going back. No, you have no choice. This is my family. You're still breathing because I own you. Every inch of ink on me. Is it true what Desi said? That you're an evil man. Oh. My. Good. God. Wow. That looks what good. What a trail. Oh my God. That's, I mean... You know, you just know, don't you? What's training? Well, that's going to be phenomenal, isn't it? it totally is. phenomenal. Jamie Bell is he looks excellent. Yeah. It's totally petrifying. I've still got funny things. That, in a lot of ways, is the sort of film that I, you know, we always have this thing. Well, There's some things you that can I can see and can't see. I just that would kill me. That film kill you in what way? Just the terror of it. The that terror? to me is more terrifying than any horror movie or yeah. anything because it is possible that anyone can get caught up in the right you know, set of events and find themselves yeah, in a yeah, horrific yeah, yeah. situation that they can't get out of, that is going to be extraordinary. And interesting how the directors clearly tackled yeah. the same subject, although there's no, there's no redemption in the short film. This is clearly a character who, who wants to get out or is yeah. regretting it. But that line where the kind of the owner or the runner of the, of the neo-Nazi group says, I own every inch of pink on you. But what did that mean? He doesn't own the bits that are tattooed. He owns all of the white of him. The white man. He owns the white man. I mean, basically saying, I own you, but I own every inch of pink of you. Cause that's... But why did he say that pink? I don't understand. Because that's the colour of his white skin. He's a white man. He's a neo-Nazi. No, I get that, but I what don't, don't I get? still don't. I, but, uh, but I suppose what I'm finding odd about it, it's sort of saying there's some parts of you that I don't own. I own all the pink of you, because he's almost entirely covered in tattoos. Uh, I saw it as kind of him having his talons in him, and he always would, because effectively, however much black you put on your skin, he's still white. So he's all white. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Don't think that's <laughs>
Well, I, I don't know why. I found it very chilling. They must no, have found I it chilling. Think, they wouldn't have put it in the I bloody trailer. I think there's some sort of hidden message in there with the tattoo. He doesn't own the tattooed bits. He owns the pink bits. So what is the relevance of that? I think you've come at this from far too literal an angle. Well, he was literally said he the wasn't, pink skin. Yeah, but he's talking he didn't about say him. I own he's, every part. He said I own all the pink bits. Yeah, but it's you kind of you naturally go. Oh, well, the black bits where there's what, tattoos. Would you start not chopping? Of course you don't. They're just black bits on pink skin. But he's all he's put it in he's the trailer. He's all pink. He's put it the in the point trailer. Is, the point is, it's a double, double bluff. He's all pink. Oh, even under the black. Of course he is. That's the point. So he actually owns all of him. It's the most chilling trailer. I love the way, and also seen. that moment, which is really chilling, which I found the most chilling part of Black Klansman. There's a scene where two neo Nazis are in bed together, I don't even remember the scene, and yeah. they're talking in an almost romantic and sort yeah, of bedside, yeah. sort of small talk yeah. sort of way about killing black people, or lynching black people. And then in this, you see Kelly McDonald suddenly look at him with interest when he puts a scaffolding yeah. pipe through someone's head. I think that we're going to see some amazing performances from the children there. Yeah. And also, I think amazing, really, really important that you do see a film where you see the human side of a neo-Nazi because so many people that are evil are people that have had no choices. Yeah. 